Focus for 15 is a series of short videos that target a particular body area. Each video provides you with postures to stretch, strengthen and improve your flexibility. Our focus here is what's sometimes called the core. What I'm talking about specifically are the rectus abdominis in the front of the body, stomach muscles, the obliques down the side and the quadratus lumborum transversus or QLT which run up the side of the lower part of the spine. So from standing at the top of the mat take our feet one to one and a half meters apart turn out our right foot 90 degrees extend both arms out from the side of the body and as you exhale Fold at the waist to the side, taking the right hand down the right leg as far as is comfortable for you today. You're going to feel a stretch here in the obliques on the side of the core. Inhaling and as you exhale, allow gravity to just take you as far as you're comfortable today. left hand extends up towards the sky the gaze can be up towards the hand or if that's not comfortable you're not steady just gaze forward or down towards the mat the gaze up towards the left hand will certainly intensify the stretch to the obliques a couple of breaths here inhaling and exhaling and we inhale as we come back to standing turn the right foot in turn the left foot out and ready to repeat to the other side so extend both arms exhale as we fold at the waist to the left hand side so the left hand moves down the left leg as far as comfortable, we start feeling the stretch in the obliques. We extend the right hand into the air, gaze forward or up towards the right hand, inhaling and exhaling. Exhaling, we allow gravity to take the body a little bit further. Inhale, exhale a couple more times. And then inhale as we bring the body back up to standing. That was Trikonasana or Triangle Posture. Keeping our feet a good one to one and a half meters apart, we're going to turn out that right foot again. This time we're going to turn the shoulders to face over the right foot. And as we exhale, we're going to fold forward from the hips, hands on hips. We're going to fold forward over the right leg. When we fold it forward as far as we're comfortable, we're going to release the left hand from the hip and take that down towards the mat, taking the left hand towards the right side of the right foot if possible, or just anywhere on the right leg. We're going to feel another stretch here in the obliques but also in the back in the QLT. You're going to get a nice stretch in the spine as well. But you're really going to feel the muscle groups around there in the core. A couple of breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe just twisting and stretching a little bit more on the exhale a couple of times and we're going to inhale as we come back to standing hands on the hips turn in the right foot turn out the left foot and repeat to the other side so shoulders facing over the left foot exhaling forward forward folding from the hips over the left leg 
And when we fold it forward as far as comfortable, we take the right hand from the hip towards the mat, taking it to the left side of the left foot if possible, or just to the left leg. Again, feeling the stretch in both the obliques and the QLT in the back. Inhaling, exhale as we maybe twist, stretch a little bit more, exhaling into the stretch. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, release. Inhale as we come back to standing, hands on hips, hands to the side. That was Revolve Triangle or Parivrita Trikonasana. Coming back to standing at the top of the mat, we're going to fold forward and then allow our hands to fall to the mat either side of the feet. Take the right foot back and then the left foot back, keeping the back straight. We're going to engage the core here to keep the back straight. So our rectus abdominis, obliques and our QLT, keep those all engaged. Also be engagement in the upper body. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. So we can choose here either just to maintain this posture, the plank posture, or you may want to, as you exhale, you may want to bend the elbows and drop slightly, and then inhale, extend the arms again. Just like a good old fashioned press up. Inhaling, exhaling again in your chosen posture. And when we're done, just exhale and allow the chest to fall to the mat, rolling over to lying on the back, ready for our next posture. So lying on the back, legs extended, arms by the side. Inhale as we raise the right leg. up to 90 degrees, exhale as we lower halfway, hold here, and inhaling and exhaling smoothly, no sharp breaths, steady, deep breathing, inhaling and exhaling, and then we release the right leg slowly, to the mat. From here we're going to inhale as we raise the left leg all the way up to 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor and as we exhale we lower halfway holding here 45 degrees inhale exhale no choppy breath just smooth deep breathing inhale Exhale and exhale as we release the left leg to the mat. So we're going to repeat this a few more times. Inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, lower halfway. Hold, breathe. Don't hold the breath. Inhale, exhale, and release. Inhale, raise the left leg. And exhale, lower halfway. Hold, continue breathing. Inhale, exhale, and release.
Once we've repeated that a few times, we're going to repeat the same motion with the both legs. So as we inhale, we raise both legs perpendicular to the mat, 90 degrees. And as we exhale, we lower halfway, hold 45 degrees, keeping the breathing. Don't hold the breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, as long as we can, and as we exhale, we release both legs towards the mat. If you want an extra little bit of a challenge here, don't allow the feet to touch the mat, just keep them an inch or two above the mat, again maintaining the breathing, inhaling and exhaling. For another variation you might want to have your hands by your side or you could interlace the fingers and place the hands behind the head which will give a again a different sensation. Work with it whichever one is giving you the focus that you need today in those core areas. So repeat with both legs a few more times. And when we're done there, exhale, release both legs to the mat, back into our lying posture. From lying, we lift the legs from the mat 45 degrees, bend the knees to start with, we then lift the upper torso from the mat. The aim is to keep 90 degrees between the torso and the thighs, keeping the back straight, maintaining the breathing, steady inhale and exhale. From here we can straighten the legs if we're comfortable doing that. A little bit more intense by straightening the legs. And we can either have the hands alongside the legs, or if we want, we can interlace the fingers and put the hands behind the head. So a couple of variations there for you to work with in Navasana, or boat pose, as it's sometimes called. Again, important to keep the breathing steady, inhaling and exhaling. And again, you'll really feel that predominantly in the rectus abdominis at the front. Inhaling, exhale, release the legs and the upper torso to the mat. From a lying posture we come back up into a sitting posture, placing the palms on the mat. We cross our legs in front of us. If you can do Padmasana or Lotus then feel free to do that. As we inhale, we lift the buttocks from the mat by pushing down through the hands and engaging the rectus abdominis, the stomach muscles at the front. We also try to lift the legs off the mat as well. Inhaling and exhaling, just briefly here while we hold just the buttocks or the buttocks and the legs off the mat and exhale as we release back down to the mat. Posture is called Tolasana. What we can do here is that we can do cycles of boat and Tolasana. Possibly five times or as many build up one, two, three initially and aim for five. They're a good pair of postures to really work the um, core muscles. So when we've completed that, come to a sitting posture, exhale, release, lie back, and again, just relax for a couple of moments, breathing naturally, and just feeling where the energy has moved around the body 
focused in that core area. Just become aware of the sensations. Namaste.